Huntsville-Madison County Public Library provides access to the database Demographics Now to library users in their 12 branch locations as well as remote access to library card holders so they may use the database from home, office, or in anywhere they access the internet. To access Demographics Now remotely, you will need a library card number and PIN. Demographics Now creates reports containing a variety of demographic profiles of a specific geographic area. To generate these reports, you must first define your area. As you can see on screen, you have numerous choices to help you define your area. Most of these are predefined boundaries, such as states, counties, cities, zip codes. For this example today, we're going to use custom radii or drive times because it works a little bit differently. Under custom radar and drive times, you can use this tool to more specifically define your area because you're allowed to put in a specific address or an intersection. For this example, I'm going to put in the address for the main library in downtown Huntsville. 915 Monroe Street, 35801. You know that you've entered a valid address when your address will pop up here in this box on the right. At the bottom of the box, you have some further options. You can choose to define your area in radii, in a radii of miles or kilometers, or drive time minutes. This address is the center point of your area. Once you have selected your radii in miles or kilometers, your default ranges are going to be 1, 3, 5, or 1 mile radius, 3 mile radius, 5 mile radius. You can change these to any number you want. I could choose 0.5, 1, and 1.5 as an example. If you select drive time minutes, your default is 5 minutes, 10 minutes, and 15 minutes, or information, you are going to get information about your population that lives in a 5 mile drive, a 10 mile drive, or 15 mile drive around your center point. For this example, let's go ahead and choose the default of 135 radii in miles. Once I click complete, I get a selection of categories of reports. The bulk of the reports are going to be under summary and comparison tabs. If I click on the plus sign, I can see the actual titles of each report. And if I select a specific report by clicking on the radio button next to it, I get a description. Since I have three geographic areas for my reports, one, three, and five mile radi radii, I need to always choose the comparison reports. If I choose summary reports, I will only get a report on the largest geographic area, in my case, five miles. So if I want to see data for all three geographic areas, I need to select comparison data. For this example, let's select the demographic detail report so we can get an idea of what a report looks like. I can choose to email it to myself right now by inputting my email address here, or select view to go ahead and see it. As you can see, I have three columns of, columns of data information about the one mile radius, three mile, and five mile. So the population data is going to be different for each of these groups. In this particular report, the type of information I'm getting is the overall population size, the, an age breakdown, housing data, information about race and ethnicity, marital status, and on and so forth. If I choose to save this particular report, I have a variety of options. I can select the printable version, which looks very much like this one, a PDF version, um, one in Excel, which will allow me to man manipulate the data, and then also a, a, a Word document version. This tutorial was designed to provide basic guidance for creating and accessing reports in Demographics Now. For more tutorials on using this and other library resources, visit guides.hmcpl.org on the web. This tutorial is provided by the Reference and Adult Services Department of the Huntsville-Madison County Public Library.